Okay, 726 says, for each of the following situations, suppose the null hypothesis is that mu1 is equal to mu2, and that the alternative is that mu1 does not equal mu2. Okay, suppose whether or not h0 would be rejected. So A says, um, here our p-value is 0 0.046 and our alpha level is 0 0.02. So here our p-value is bigger than our alpha. So p-value is greater than alpha. Okay, so that means we do not reject. Do not reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so this says we don't have enough evidence. Okay, based on the sensitivity of alpha, we don't have evidence that mu1 is different from mu2, okay? So based on the sensitivity that we've chosen, our fire alarm does not go off, okay? B says p-value is equal to 0 0.033, and our alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So here our p-value is less than alpha, so we reject the null hypothesis, and this says um, we have evidence to show that mu1 does not equal mu2, and therefore we must conclude that mu1 is different from mu2. So based on the sensitivity of our test, the, um, the alpha level, the significance level that we've chosen, um, our alarm goes off, and we're saying the, uh, the two means are not equal, and therefore we reject. Um, the null and say that they're different. Okay, so T, uh, C says our T statistic is equal to 2.26, our degrees of freedom is equal to 5, and our alpha level is equal to 0 0.10. Okay, so here this is a two sided test. So we must look up 2.26 and 5 degrees of freedom. 5 degrees of freedom, 2. Uh, 2.26, the closest numbers I can find with 5 degrees of freedom is 2.191 and 2.422. Okay, 2.191 corresponds to an upper tail probability of 0 0.04, and the other number, 2.422, corresponds to an upper tail probability of 0 0.03. So this is the upper tail probability, and these are the t values. And so the total total tail, okay, which is basically just double, that corresponds to 8% and 6%. So our p-value um, is between 8 and 6%. So even if it's closer to 8 um, rather than 6, our p-value is less than our alpha. Okay, our alpha is 10%. Our p-value is between 6 and 8%, so maybe 7, maybe 7.9, whatever. Our p-value is less than alpha, so we reject the null hypothesis. So if our t-statistic came out to be 2.26 with 5 degrees of freedom, and an alpha level 10, we reject the null hypothesis. We say we've got evidence to show that mu1 and mu2 are different. And the last thing says we're doing uh, our t-statistic is equal to 1.94. We have 16 degrees of freedom, and our alpha level is 0 0.05. Okay, so we look up 16 degrees of freedom. We're looking for 1.94. The closest numbers I can find are between uh, 1.861, so I've got 1.869 uh, uh, and 2.024. 1.869 and 2.024. This corresponds to upper tail probability of 4% and upper tail probability of 3%. So doubling that leads us to a p-value that's between 8% and 6%. Okay, so here, um, whether it's 6% or 8%, our p-value is greater than alpha, and so we do not reject uh, 
H0. Okay, so based on the sensitivity level we've chosen here, or uh, the significance level, alpha, is now 0 0.05. We do not reject the null hypothesis, and we say we don't have enough evidence to say that me mean 1 is different from mean 2. Okay, so we say um, we don't reject this, so we don't say um, we cannot reject the idea that mu1 is different from mu2. Okay.